Hi everyone. I thought it would be nice to put together a collection of travel pictures that I've taken with the Fujifilm X100 series. I currently own the X100F, but I've had each model going right back to the original. As ever, these videos are mostly about the pictures, but I'll do my best to add a few thoughts too. I'll mainly chat about them as one camera, as that's kind of how I think of them. I have no idea off the top of my head whether I took the T or S to Miami or India. I just know that it was that fantastic form factor and classic field of view that was with me on my travels. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe each of the versions of the camera has had the same lens up until the current X100F, so that's certainly something significant they all have in common. So, what's it like taking this camera travelling? Well, the first thing I'll say about the X100 is that it's extremely portable, but not especially pocketable. I guess I could put it in the back pocket of some very loose jeans, maybe, or much more comfortably in a jacket pocket. If true portability is what you're after, do take a serious look at the Fuji XF10. I might have a review of that camera coming soon, so consider subscribing if that's of any interest. However, I haven't taken that smaller, lighter camera to as many interesting places as the X100. So although I say that you can put it in a jacket pocket, I much, much prefer to wear the X100 around my neck. And if you're sensible, you're probably on holiday somewhere warm where you won't need a jacket. Just as lens caps belong in your bag or at home, it feels good having the camera out and ready to take pictures at any moment. I like to think of myself as an optimistic person, and I was thinking recently that not taking your camera out with you is the height of pessimism. To leave the house without it is to say, there probably won't be anything worth photographing. And to wear it around your neck is the opposite, open and optimistic about the possibilities of the day. The size of the X100 certainly makes wearing it around your neck pretty easy and comfortable. When travelling, I feel that carrying a big camera seems to announce that you've arrived in this new, fascinating country and that you'll be taking away some pictures with you, like you're some old-fashioned explorer, fascinated by the strange ways locals do things. It's not all that far from the truth. I am fascinated by the strange ways everybody does everything. But with a big zoom and a bright yellow Nikon camera strap, people are much more likely to see a photographer before they see a person. A smaller camera plays down that intention. It makes your photography seem more incidental to you being there. There's of course nothing wrong with being a photographer in people's eyes. But going a little bit under the radar certainly suits my personality, I think. I wear the camera around my neck, but if I have a jacket, I can easily zip it up to hide it if I'd like to. Next, and I know I made a big deal about this in my video of pictures from Zambia, but I think there is so much freedom to be found by just taking a single camera with you when you're traveling. I genuinely struggle with all of the myriad options of camera bodies and lenses, just choosing a camera to take around my hometown. When you travel hundreds or thousands of miles to get to a city you might never return to, there is a temptation to bring some complete, definitive camera collection. I understand it, I really do but there's a real joy in letting that go. When I'm traveling, I especially appreciate the simplicity and liberating restrictiveness of the X100. When there's no other lens or camera to reach for, you kind of bond with your camera a bit more. A week or two away with your days filled with new sights, you're sure to become very accustomed to the camera and the field of view it gives you. Just using that single camera helps you travel light 
and be less weighed down in your mind. There's no real reason why that can't be how you photograph all of the time, but when you're traveling, it seems especially freeing. Thanks everyone for watching, and please consider subscribing, consider following me on Instagram. I have lots more places I'd like to take my X100F, and I really look forward to sharing those pictures with you soon. Thanks again, see you in the next one.